Hello everyone, this is Tiffany from the Butler Area Public Library here with another video from the Professional Resource Center. Today we are taking a look at Learning to Code with Grasshopper, an app developed by Google. We're using an iPad, so we're going to go into the Apple App Store and look for Grasshopper. We want to make sure we're selecting the right one because as you see there are several apps titled Grasshopper. The one we are looking for is at the top of the left hand column. So we're going to go ahead and install that on our device now. Once we open it, it is going to prompt us to log in with our Google account. If you don't have one, you'll want to make one. Grasshopper starts with the very basics of coding. So if you've never coded before, that's okay. This is the perfect place to start. Learning to use Java code in very small increments is the goal of the Grasshopper application. And it does so using exercises, puzzles, and games. So for our very first exercise, it's going to teach us how to use code to recreate the French flag. It helps us out by doing the beginning part of the solution, and then we need to figure out how to complete it using the prompts at the bottom of the screen. Once we have completed our answer, we will hit the green arrow button to play through the animation of the code that we have written. We correctly completed this exercise. Now we will advance to the next lesson. Along the way, as we complete lessons, we can earn certificates, which we can download and share. So the second exercise is learning how to create the Gabonese flag, which like the French flag uses three striped colors, but in a different configuration. So now we need to learn how to code that different configuration. Again, they started us out with a solution and we have to complete it using the coding prompts at the bottom of the screen. Once we enter our answers, we're going to go ahead and play through the animation of what we coded and see if we're right. Uh-oh, looks like we missed a step. The app is now going to prompt us as to how to correct the mistake that we have made. This just goes to show that it's okay to make mistakes within the app. You are still learning. We can take a look at different areas of the app besides just the lessons. This is a prompt which is going to ask us if we want to set up notifications for our device to try coding exercises daily or to learn about new opportunities available. If we hit the three lines at the top of our screen, it opens up a side menu where we can explore the app in another way. It will show us the dashboard, any announcements, and all of the lessons that we do or do not have access to.
You can't access future lessons until you complete the earlier ones. There's also an achievements section, which is going to show us how many different pieces of code that we have learned and how many days we have been coding in a row. As we explore the app, you will see there are lots and lots of lessons that we can take on our journey to learning to code. And again, these lessons are in succession, so you have to complete the earlier ones before moving on to the later ones. In this way, your skills will build upon each other. Sometimes the lessons might not be that easy. You may make a mistake that you can't go back and correct. It's still going to give you the right solution and it will then open up the next lesson. Lessons that we have successfully completed have a green check mark. This has been an overview of the Grasshopper application developed by Google to help you learn to code. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the library.